The mission of Nikos is to enhance the health and well-being of San Francisco's Chinese community. Nikos is engaged in advocacy, research, training, coalition building, and program implementation. Some examples of the programs that we have include a healthcare navigation project. This is one where we inform the community about uh, public health coverage that's available to them. And then in addition to that, help them navigate the healthcare system because a lot of them just aren't familiar with it. Because we're situated in Chinatown, a lot of people think that we're focused on the Chinatown community, but we're actually serving the Chinese community citywide throughout San Francisco. And in many cases, it's uh, actually statewide as with some of our programs. With the EVAC partnership, we do a lot of like COVID-19 and flu slash influenza vaccine reuptake. So we have been hosting an annual Chinatown Community Health Fair. So we all just come together to promote like free health services to our local communities. And one of it is offering free vaccinations and ensuring that there is in-language staff available so few people don't feel like discouraged or afraid. Like they feel like they can come for with their concerns. Like, oh, is this okay to take this vaccination? Just little questions like that, that are answered and that are really meaningful when you have in-language staff available. We also have a WeChat with like 300 plus members. So we make sure to like deliver accurate and up-to-date health information. So COVID related, some of them are like medical enrollment is coming up, like the deadline's coming up, just things like that to make sure that all folks have some sense of health equity. Pretty much on a weekly basis, we'll have people coming in with issues such as not being able to read letters that they've received from the medical office or through Covered California. And so we're able to provide them with that uh, translation services to let them know what it is they need to do. We've also been able to help them do other things like make appointments with doctors because that's also something that a lot of them are not familiar with. And so because there are also language barriers as well, language barriers do play a role in this. Like some folks don't know how to find a PCP that speaks Cantonese or Mandarin. And that's really dangerous because like a lot of folks feel discouraged when it comes to finding access. So when they feel discouraged, it can lead to like long-term health outcomes that can be very detrimental. The Asian community is one of the largest community to be affected with depression, but not to seek help. So it's just like that learned helplessness that's very dangerous when it comes to our community. We also make sure to address the issue of anti-Asian hate. I think the biggest challenge, um, not just for the community here in San Francisco, but for Asian American communities nationwide, is that of the model minority myth. So a lot of people believe that Chinese Americans or Asian Americans don't need help at all, that they're doing just fine. And in fact, we saw this through priorities from the CDC and also from San Francisco Department of Public Health when COVID first rolled out. So Asian Americans cryptically were not identified as a priority population despite challenges with income, language, and other issues. And statistics basically showing that older Asian Americans had the highest death rates. So I think that's uh, one thing that we've been trying to do is to educate government organizations and the communities in general that Asian Americans are in fact not the minority and that there are great needs within the community.